That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Good morning, Eagles, and welcome to school. Today is Monday, March 6th. Let's start the week with the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Miss Woods class. Awesome job. Let's see what's happening at Armstrong this week. Sounds like it'll be another great week. For Friday's assembly, don't forget to dress one your best Harry Potter's attire. Time to check on the week's weather. This is what the weather looked like last week. Um, today, it'll be a.m. snow showers, 38 per, uh, degrees and 50 chance of precipitation. On um, Tuesday, it'll be mostly sunny 45 degrees and zero chance of precipitation. Wednesday will be mostly sunny, 52 degrees and zero chance of precipitation. Thursday will be mostly sunny, 56 degrees and 10% of precipitation. On Friday will be PM showers, 53 degrees and 68 chance of precipitation. Thanks fourth grade, one thing we know about the weather in Utah is that it's always changing. Now let's now it's time for the weekly whip around. the world come on and celebrate the world celebrate 
There's a fire that ignites at the bottom of my heart Ooh, me, oh my If we open our eyes I think we're both gonna find that it's a wonderful life Awesome learning. Let's hear from our latest Reading Blast Off readers. 
I read the Michael Vay series. One thing I liked about it was that there was a mix of all genres. In one part of the book, Michael had to save his friends, but then was interrupted by his arch nemesis. He said read this series because it has lots of adventure. I read the Percy Jackson series and I liked it because Percy had to go on quests with his two friends Annabeth and Grover and in one of the quests they had to find a golden fleece to protect the camp. In book five they had to fight the Titans because it was Percy's prophecy to pick if Olympus would fall or say. You should read this series because it is full of a lot of adventure. Reading is always cool. The more you read, the better you read. We have a special art night coming up on March 20th. Let's turn to Miss Point to it for some more information. Hi Eagles! I just wanted to let, remind you that art night is coming up March 20th from 6 to 8. It's a Monday. We're going to have food trucks, fun art activities. We're going to display your artwork and you can walk around the school. Anyone can come, bring your parents, bring a friend, and come to art night March 20th. Thanks, Miss Point of It. Our night sounds like a fun way to share our work with our families. Congratulations, fourth grade. Your hard work and effort paid off. Fourth grade, you are the most fun. You won February's greatest grade. Let's sneak a peek on how March's competition is shaping up. It's any grades race at this point. Keep up the great work, Eagles. Mr. Goble has a few words for us. Let's tune in for a chat with Mr. Goble. Hello, Neil Armstrong. This is Mr. Goble and Mr. Goble's new segment, Mr. Goble's Favorite Things. And a couple of my favorite things I'm going to talk about together. One of them is recess and you guys being able to come out here and have a great time. The other thing that I love is our, is our grass. But I really love it when it, when it grows and, and does well. With everything melting in the, in the next couple weeks, it's going to get softer and muddier and it's gonna be harder for that grass to grow. Mr. Goble and Mr. Robinson in the district have a plan to improve the grass, but we're gonna very much need your help, meaning that, that at times we'll be staying off of portions of it, and, and we also need to just stay out of the muddy spots. I know that we've talked about this a lot, but, but even today, as I've, as I've walked around, I've seen fresh, fresh put footprints in the mud and that means that some people aren't or haven't quite got the message yet we love love being able to have you out here on the grass and we want that to be something that that lasts for a long long time so please stay out of the mud and when we when we start having sections of the grass that we we ask you to stay out of please please stay out of those places and and everything's going to be great I also want to just encourage you, one of my other favorite things while I'm out here is students who clean up after themselves. And we have just a little bit of trash out here. Some of it's just appearing because, because the snow is melting and it's been hiding under there, but somebody dropped it there. And so I am so grateful to those students who I've, and there's been many in the past weeks where they have come out here and picked up trash and, and walked it back to the lunchroom with Mr. Robinson and thrown that away. That has been so helpful. Thank you to all those who've been doing that and I would encourage others when they see trash to do the same. The PTA, this is another thing that I'm, I love is the PTA. And the PTA this year is actually going to buy us some outdoor trash cans. So we're excited for that. And that will allow us to not have to go in the building. You'll just be able to pick up the trash and walk it over there. So watch for those, they'll be coming soon. Thanks for listening and and uh, be awesome. You guys, you guys do so many amazing things. Uh, keep doing it. Thank you so much. 
that's it for us. Thanks for watching. This is ABC News.